This is like the best top of the world right here. This is a, this is one of those mountains I just talked about. Give me my first kiss, crowded and fenced in a garden. Life and marriage can be like a mountain range. Sometimes you're looking up, sometimes you're looking down. It can be challenging to navigate despite its beauty, and there are peaks and valley floors in between. There will be peaks when life is good and we're on top of the world, and there will be valleys that feel like rock bottom or rough terrain that we don't know how to climb out of. But the one thing for certain is that there's nobody I'd rather conquer this terrain with than you, my best friend and love of my life. There's not a peak I'd rather be on top of, nor a valley I'd rather take on with anybody else other than you. While our lives and our landscape will change and bring on both good times and bad, I promise that our love, our passion, and our support for each other will never change. I promise to never lose our spark. I promise to always keep doing the little things to make you happy, whether it's making you coffee on a weekend morning, listening, listening to you talk about a book that you know I'm never going to read, but that you're passionate about anyways. <laughs> And, or spending those extra couple minutes cuddling you and our little family, whether it just stays us and Max or if it grows in the future. And I promise to make more promises and vows in the future as we pick our next mountain or valley to take on together. Because much like Marshall Erickson said in the first show we ever watched, <laughs> How I Met Your Mother, he said, one set of vows does not cover a lifetime of changing with you, growing with you, and falling more in love with you every day. I love you. Tested and true given me worth when I didn't think I had any and I promise to always do the same for you in our relationship. Honestly, the biggest hurdle in our relationship is fighting over who's going to have the window seat on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> With all that said, you are my best friend. You motivate me to be the best person I can be and I promise to always do the same for you and make, you sh make sure you know how important you are to me. I cannot wait to start this new chapter with you. <laughs> I want to end by settling an argument in front of all of you. <laughs> oh no. Ryan will often tell me that he loves me, to which I will respond, I love you more. <laughs> then we will disagree and go back and forth to no end. But I think I can, I can finally explain what I mean when I say it. When I say I love you more, I don't necessarily mean that I actually love you more <laughs> than you love me. I mean, I love you more than all the days ahead of us. I love you more. Oh, I skipped a page. I love you more than any fight we may have, even if you win and get the window seat. I love you more than any distance keeping us apart. And I love you more than any obstacle that can come between us. I love you more than anything, period. So from now on, when I say I love you, remember, I don't say it out of habit. I say it as a reminder to you of this day and all the promises that I've made to you. And by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church and the state of Oregon, I pronounce you equal partners joined in marriage. You may now seal your commitment with a kiss. She'd been on some dates with a guy in D.C. while she was on her temporary work placement. I had just moved to New Mexico, and she told me that this guy was practically falling in love with her already. And I was like, that's a smart man. <laughs> but she had some hesitancy about starting a long-distance relationship. But after he flew all the way from D.C. to visit her in Oregon, I thought that this guy is either, one, a creep, <laughs> Or two, he's her future husband. <laughs> Ryan and Jamie, congratulations. Really proud of you both. Um, just remember to have fun, take time for each other, and really just enjoy the moments you get to spend with each other and Max. Very great experience. I'm so happy we got to be here, and we love you both. Hey, Ryan, hey, Jamie. We love you both so much, and Max, too. Give him lots of pets for us. Um, we are so excited for you, too, that you're just started... You're just starting this journey together, um, and we wish you both the best of luck, and we know that you are going to be just the best uh, travel companions for each other along this uh, great journey that you're going through together, okay? We love you. And I'll take care of you alone.
Oh no.